Today we're going to 3D print a full color Baby Yoda. Welcome back to Advanced Geekery. My name is David Gwertz and I know his name is Grogu, but I like Baby Yoda. So I'll be calling him both interchangeably. So in today's video, we're not just going to print this. We're going to print it and see if we can get the supports off and see what kind of condition it's in. I'm going to show you how I colorized it. And I'm also going to show you how I made the custom supports because he looks great as is, but the, but the automatic supports wanted to put supports under his eyelids and there's no need for that. So I went in and put in custom supports and hopefully I'll not only be able to get the supports off, but they'll have supported the right stuff. I'll also show you a couple of experiments I did in terms of figuring out how close the supports could be to the actual model and uh, still potentially be removable. So that's what's happening next. This program is sponsored in part by the Advanced Geekery Weekly Newsletter. Want exclusive access to my latest ZDNet articles, behind the scenes updates on my projects, and must watch YouTube videos curated just for you? How about fascinating reads from around the web and a chance to have your own project spotlighted? It's all in the newsletter. And the best part, subscribing is absolutely free. Don't wait, click the link below to get your weekly issue and make it awesome. So Sunlu was really nice enough to send a bunch of filament to me and uh, I am going to be pulling a couple of these colors. We have a walnut wood, a cherry wood, a maple wood, and two greens, a matte PLA and a matte PLA olive. So I'm going to select out the second olive since I won't be using it. The brick red I'm also not going to be using in this print, which I appreciate them. I'm trying to decide whether I want the wood, the cherry wood and the maple wood. The maple wood is definitely going to be used. And I think I'm going to use the cherry wood. I think it's going to give a very nice sort of subtle contrast. Well, yeah, I think those are the three I'm going to be using. So I should say that Sunlu is not sponsoring this video, but they are a project partner. Project partners are companies willing to help out because a lot of these projects get very expensive and Sunlu has agreed to provide filament for some of these big prints, which I really appreciate. So that's why I'm talking about Sunlu today. All right, let's get the colors set up now. So now we have our um, color set so I can start painting it in uh, in the slicer. The model as downloaded came with a couple of colors assigned to certain parts of the of the model, the inner ears and the eyes, for example. So they were already started and I decided to go through and use the paintbrush the paint bucket tool to make his um, cloak a, a darker brown. And then I uh, selected the hands and his face and made it green. And that was pretty much all the work that needed to be done to colorize him. The next step, which was gonna be much more complex, was supports, and I'll get to that in a second. I sliced it, and then I went in and started working on supports. I found doing supports to be really the biggest challenge. I was very concerned about making sure the fingers were supported but also were able to be um, the support would be able to be removed without damaging the fingers and the same thing with the ears i didn't want the supports to get in the way of the ears so that um the ears were mucked up but yet the ears definitely need supports when auto support was turned on it wanted to put supports on the eyelids and I was really concerned that the residue of the supports on the eyes would ruin the model. So I was really careful about exactly where I placed supports and it was a both a tedious process to paint the support points where I wanted them to go as well as 
it really taxed my uh, my Mac Studio, which is a pretty powerful Mac Studio, but it really taxed the Mac Studio's ability to move to get these supports painted in right. It started to chug real hard and, and be very sluggish. But I very carefully painted in all the support pieces throughout the entire model. And uh, as I'll show you at the end, it turned out really quite well. Then I sliced it and looked around to make sure I didn't leave anything out, which I did. So I had to go back and add in a little bit more to make sure the slicing turned out right. But once it was sliced, it was then time to send it to the printer and make sure that I match the colors correctly. So let's take him off the build plate very gently. Very, well, not as gently as I like, but still very gently. All right, let's get started. So I wanted to tell you a little about the production process this went through. The first thing I did is I printed a tiny version of Baby Yoda. You can see him in a size comparison. You can see he's much tinier. But I wanted to make sure that it would print and that supports would be visible and that I could get his hand. I just wanted to make sure it was a printable model. So I printed a single color version of it, which took a little over an hour and a half instead of this thing, which took 40 hours. Then the next thing I did is I went through and I printed a bunch of these test prints, which are meant as support print testers. And I went through and I checked the distance that the support is from the material it's holding up. And I tried a variety of numbers. I tried 28 and 26 and then 25 until I found one that would remove and wouldn't kill. The, there's a little pyramid over there, which you can't really see because it died on two of these. But on the third one, you can see there's a little tiny pyramid and it was able to print that. So I did these support tests. I did them with all the filaments, the, the sunlu filaments, because I wasn't sure about the characteristics of either the wood filament or the matte filament as it related to this. So I went ahead and did some support print tests first. So with that, let's see what we can do to take this guy apart and make him real. Now I'm a little concerned. I mean, the part that I'm most concerned about is this part of the hand. I'm going to show it to you up close. Is this part of the hand here. And conversely, that part of the hand down there. Because those are the most delicate of the pieces that need to be removed. So I haven't actually taken him off the build plate yet. Um, I'm trying to decide whether I want to take him off the build plate. All right, let's 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 just do a test lift and then see this up way up a little bit. Let's see if it'll go. Can you see that? Very carefully bending. Step off. All right, getting the purge tower out of the way just simply so it's not in my way. So all I'm doing is I'm bending the build plate repeatedly while holding, there we go, okay. So Grogu is now off the build plate. So now let's see what our supports look like. If you look at these, 
Oops. Okay, one of them just popped off on the back. If you look at these, this is the hand area. And this is the other hand. Now, this hand area is really robust. So, I want to kind of do the hands first. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to snip these little pieces up here to see if I can at least separate part of what's holding the hand. Uh, oops, should be careful at charge I'm going to shoot. That piece. Yeah, sharks are definitely shooting. I am wearing regular glasses. I probably don't really know if I need safety glasses, but... So let's just... Well, okay, so we have this piece that popped off. Let's just see whether... It's really hard to get off or really easy to get off. Well, it's not easy. There it is, it's coming off. It's not pretty. Oops. Not pretty, but it, is, it did come off. And the underside, The underside looks good, so that's a good sign. All right. So one of the support piece seems to be fairly loose. I'm pulling the part under it out, giving a little air for the finger supports. Ho oh, ho, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out watch, watch. Boom! Look at that. Look at that. How cool is that? We got his hand. <laughs> okay. That was a big worry. All right, let's see what we can do about the other hand, which is in here. Get the support to break apart. What I'm doing is I'm squishing the support with the hopes of not touching. You can see the other finger. You see that finger there. I think he only has three fingers. So if that's the case, I should be able to take this piece. And you can see it's it's actually clutching. If you look at it sideways, you can see it's actually clutching the support. So that's why we're having a problem. All right, here we go, ready? There we are. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the hand. That was a lot of work, but look at the base and the, the, the texture. It's really nice, okay. So those were the two tough, tough parts. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do about just taking these pieces off. Ooh, the whole ear came off. Oh, check this out. Boom! The entire ear came off. Oh, that looks great. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, Look at that ear. This is called the deburring tool that I'm using right now. It's this tool right here. Okay, he is incredible. The hands. Look at the texture of the jacket. He is just incredible. There we go. Baby Yoda. Look at that. Is that not amazing? I mean, that's our baby Yoda right there. Look at that guy. Baby Yoda. Amazing.
right, so there's our baby Yoda. It is amazing looking. The filament is gorgeous. A big thanks to Sun Lu for making this project possible by uh, providing the filament. And um, it's it's gorgeous filament. There'll be links in the description. My name is David Gewertz for Advanced Geekery. Go out there and make something awesome. And may the force be with you.